Hi. Uh, this is my homemade tablet, I guess you could call it. Hard to say exactly what it is. I used a um, PC Duino uh, version 3 board in conjunction with a uh, touchscreen, 7 inch touchscreen LVDS display. Uh, yeah, so for about a year I've wanted to make a um, something I could hang on the wall, a uh, bus schedule that would basically show the bus schedule as I leave in the morning to show when the whoops when the trains are on their way. But the Raspberry Pi didn't have um, any uh, basically any easy to easy uh, a way to easy attach a, a relatively cheap touch screen. So then I saw this PC Duino and basically figured that was the best thing to do. So because it has a LVDS display, 60 inch or $60 7 inch touch display. Very nice, very great deal. Easy to attach. It has HDMI input and the LVDS and uh, interfaces nicely with the Arduino board. So that's also a plus. So here it is. Um, let's see. So not only do I, I made it so it, hang, it hangs on the wall. And I have it set on uh, the power, set on a timer, so it turns on before I wake up. And then I set a script, so I have it running Android in the morning. Um, so the Android operating system starts up. Um, that's what's on the NAND. And once that starts, it, I have a, using Tasker, uh, an Android app that lets me change, uh, write little scripts. I was able to create a script that alternates between weather and um, the bus schedule in the morning. And let's see, so right, that does that. And then I have a shutdown script that like uh, a little bit after, after I know I've left the house that basically shuts down the, um, shuts down the uh, operating system before it actually, I set my timer to actually kill the power at some point also, but I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to kill it while it's still on. Uh, yeah, so let's see. In addition to this, um, I do have different operating systems. So prob one annoying answer problem is that the uh, basically all the operating systems that are out there for the PC Duino um, either use the LVDS or HDMI, uh, not both at the same time. I don't know if that's some other limitation or something, but uh, either way, uh, you could put uh, bootable SD cards, and I have uh, Ubuntu LVDS, uh, so that uses the touch screen, and then I have an Ubuntu HDMI, and actually it's a version 14 Ubuntu. Um, and there's a bunch of different ones on the PC Duino site. Let's see, so here I made a lot of this comes from my, or how did I mount it is a big part of this project. Um, so as you could see, uh, some cheap acrylic. Um, clear acrylic so you could see the uh, fancy fancy stuff going on. Uh, I made a big use of hinges and um, these old school chains that was told to me is reminiscent of I guess 1990s 10th grade sort of uh, little jewelry that people would use but either way it seemed to do the job for me so it uh, hardware store, pretty good stuff. So I made it, so at first I was originally going to make it so it folds closed like this way. That ended up not working out. Uh, it would have been way too thick, so now I have it folding like this also. And then I had to add a bunch of extra protection so it could close and open there for the touch screen, close and open here for the, um, basically the PC Duino itself. Um, and I have, of course, little latches with my, uh, you know, little chains there. And then, so I could bring this to a coffee shop or whatever and do some reading uh, in Arduino in uh, Android mode. And right, so I open the closes. So I mount this all to cheap acrylic that I bought. Cutting this on my Moto saw, uh, quite a nightmare, but worked out. Obviously, you know, has some. It's not super fancy looking, but it gets the job done and I wanted it done quickly and maybe I'll make it look better in time. Uh, put some, uh, doused the ribbon cable here with silicon, uh, try to protect it a bit because that's sort of like a little bit of a weak link. Um, spacers, wooden spacers, some wood cutting, um, LVDS, or the, I'm saying that, uh, the touch screen, 
uh, sandwich in between some of that. And um, this spacer is here. Had to cut with, uh, this is actually oak. This gave me a little bit of a nightmare because um, it, uh, you know, whenever I tried to cut with the typical pine or softwood that I was using, it kept splitting when I drilled a hole into it. So then I was like, all right, I need something a little harder and something that I could actually cut here in my apartment. So bought some uh, nice one inch thick piece of oak. Um, battery pack works nicely. Also, I could use this. This said when I'm only when I'm out and about. This is just a standard cell phone charger battery. It's common these days. But let's see. I could start it up. Let's open it up a little bit here. Um, I would have started in Android mode. Um, yeah, sometimes there is a problem. You know, the, the NAND gets, um, you can see a PC Duino. The NAND gets corrupted sometimes. If I guess if you don't let it boot properly and it, the power dies or slightest thing. So I've heard the SD cards are more stable. I've tried to get uh, or a operating system version for Android that has the LVDS or the display for the touchscreen um, built into it. Uh, there was none that was with bootable SD card and in if you run Linux you have the option to uh, back up or create a bootable SD card and I couldn't quite um, do that in Android or I didn't see any way to do it so yeah so now it's basically running this so as you can see it starts up and my script will pop in tasker will pop in in a few seconds and that basically you can hear my cat in the background probably. She doesn't like it when I'm not giving her attention and I'm talking. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so here we go. So, okay, task is to start up. And um, yeah, so basically it starts up. Yeah, and there's no way in this I could, to get it to, uh, to, to send this to or to burn this onto an SD card that's bootable. I, I couldn't for the life of me get it to work. I spent quite a bit of time actually. Uh, doing different different methods, cloning it. Uh, you back in Linux using a DD command. That didn't work out. Yeah, if anyone has has an idea how to do that, I would like to have this on an SD card because this is the second uh, use of the or second time I've installed Android and how to rewrite my script. I wrote a little better this time, but yeah, as you see, it goes back and forth. Um, yeah, basically there, and then I made a way to uh, uh, to kill it. So I, uh, there. Stop cycle, there we go, and that should hopefully stop it. And okay, well, it'll go the last time by that, that's killed, and then we could uh, shut her down. Okay, so yeah, so that happens, and then I could unplug it. And if I wanted to uh, move, I'm uh, boot it in a different operating system, I would basically just put one of these SD cards in. There's an SD slot right there. Easy stuff. Um, I did also have to bend some. I bought some header extensions and bent them 90 degrees because it was. Uh, otherwise, I had these things popping out at the top. So there were a lot of little slight complications that I had to work out, but that's part of the game. Um, let's see what else. So I could do a little bit of close up here, maybe to be better. Um, yeah. So you can see this. Uh, yeah, there we go. And uh, this is just on my, my workbench here that I uh, got to basically do stuff in um, my apartment in a nice way. I also built a little bit of a, uh, a setup so that I could really kind of do some work. I found some cheap cabinet and uh, retrofitted it with some wood so I could mount a nice telescoping lamp and threw some wheels on it uh, you can see and a piece of plywood at the bottom so yeah but yeah that's my little workspace and that's my little quote-unquote homemade tablet and, and my plan is to of course turn and make it a little bit more since I can in interface easily with Arduino I have an Arduino I mean you gotta think of some sort of thing to do with it maybe weather or something and yeah so that's my uh, little device um, it's a little bit of a Frankenstein looking thing now but my goal is usually always to get things up and running fast, you know, before a new one comes out and then it's basically obsolete already. It probably is already, but oh well. Yeah, so PC Duino 3, uh, it's a pretty nice device.